According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, participation in organized youth sports is on the rise. Nearly 30 million children and adolescents participate in youth sports in the United States. This increase in play has led to some other startling statistics about injuries among America's young athletes. High school athletes alone account for an estimated 2 million injuries, 500,000 doctor visits, and 30,000 hospitalizations. Many children today start specializing in one sport, some as early as five or six years old, playing year-round, joining competitive club or travel teams, and participating in special programs, believing they'll put themselves on the fast track to college scholarships or maybe even a pro sports career. But for too many of these youth, that fast track leads straight to injuries, sometimes serious ones, on playing fields and courts, such as these. Artie Akiwa, senior at Crown Point High School, is one of the many student athletes in America who have suffered multiple sports injuries during their youth sports careers. Like any other kid, I was, I don't know, uh, by four years old playing soccer. Um, that was pretty, pretty much the normal thing to do. Um, and then after that, I got old enough to be able to play baseball. And from then on, I kept taking sports to the next level. And soon enough, by my seventh birthday, I was tackling kids on the soccer field. So I had to transfer sports to football. Dr. Greg McComas is an orthopedic surgeon from Munster, Indiana, who treats numerous student-athletes each year. His opinion of youth sports is one that's shared by many doctors throughout the U.S. Youth sports is, is way out of line. Uh, I think that uh, kids should be able to play you know, sports because they're fun, not because they're going to get to the next level. I think they're, they're, their children are going to be good enough that they're going to play in the professional leagues, which is incredibly rare. So I think there's just such a huge competition now to make their kids as best that they can be, and unfortunately I think they're harming them. John Doherty is a certified athletic trainer who runs the concussion clinic at Community Hospital in Munster. What I tell parents is you know, look in the mirror. If you see a Division One athlete, and you played at the Division One level yourself, then there's a chance your, your child has a good chance of being a Division One athlete. If you don't see a Division One athlete in the mirror, you never played at that level, chances are your child's not going to play at that level. Akiwa's parents, Art Sr. and Annie, met and were both gifted athletes at the same school their son now attends. Art Sr. played basketball, baseball, and football where he led a local dynasty on the gridiron. Annie was a basketball standout who won two state basketball championships. Well, I, I think like any family, you know what you, were, what you grew up with, so sports were always important and part of our lives, so that was what we introduced our kids to. Artie showed interest uh, at a very young age, uh, elementary school, early elementary school, just about every athletic uh, sport you could think of he was showing interest in. I've had numerous of, I don't know, like bruises or sprains and that kind of thing, but really the most memorable injuries would probably be my Achilles heel when I was younger and that caused me to wear heel cups and stuff and probably like my shoulder and concussions um, and then my hip of course. Physical activity is necessary for normal growth in children. However, when the activity level becomes too intense or too excessive in a short time period, tissue breakdown and injury can occur. These overuse injuries were frequently seen in adult recreational athletes but are now being seen in children. And then there's the issue of specialization. Uh, Young athletes today uh, with dreams of college scholarship or a professional career stay in one sport year round thinking it will help them towards their college or professional goal when in fact what it does it causes far more injuries when they when you just stay on one sport. If you change sports every three to four months, play three sports in the course of a year, different body parts get different times where they can rest and kind of regenerate. So today with basketball players 12 months a year, soccer players 12 months a year, baseball pitchers 11 months a year. They, those body parts get overused and then you have over, overuse injuries that end up, end up ruining careers. And professional athletes that could have been but now never are. Doctors and psychologists are now wondering how this current generation will look at youth sports once they age into adulthood and start to feel the aches and pains of their former playing days. Will they continue to promote the specialization of today's youth athletes? I'm a little concerned in myself, like, how is that going to affect me when I'm older? Am I going to have hip pain? Am, am I going to have shoulder problems? So I'm a little worried as, as far as that goes, but that's just the name of the game, really. In the future, would you let your son play football? There you go, baby, there you go.